Hunter Dickinson and Coach Bill Self are a match made in heaven. The fifth ranked Jayhawks with their Michigan transfer just knocked off the defending national champs at home and Coach Self has constructed a perfect offensive scheme around their seven foot All-American. For starters, this seven footer is eight of 12 on the year from three. He has the ability to pick and pop and shoot three. He comes down and shoots trail threes if they don't pick him up. That alone makes him an unbelievable weapon for this offense when you have to guard him all the way out at the three-point line because he's shooting 67%. And he's also a three-level scorer, which means he can score from the mid-range. His ability to go in ball screens and short roll and catch the ball around 15 feet and then knock down jumpers and floaters is a weapon that you don't see very many people have, especially not someone who can play with their back to the basket and stretch it out and shoot threes. But his biggest advantage is his size. He just overpowers teams with offensive rebounds because it's hard to box out somebody that close to the rim, and he has really good spacing, so anytime his teammates drive or touch paint, he's typically in his room and they can throw the ball up for him to get a lob. And because he has such great touch around the basket, when teams decide to play from behind or three-quarter him, he is so dominant by just catching the ball in the post and scoring it that what teams have started to do is front him to try and make these touches as difficult as possible. Now, Coach Self has been running this action for literally a decade where they go wing entry and then they will take the opposite big and have him flash and that clears out any potential help so they can throw the lob over the top for an easy dunk or a layup. And it's crazy that this action still works because this is them running it in 2013 and it was working back then. But what's impressive about Coach Self is that he has found different ways to get Hunter Dickets in the exact same looks and they've been super successful so far. One of the actions they've run is by setting a cleared side ball screen, swinging it to the wing and going right into Hunter. Now you're gonna see that he gets a wide open layup and I'm gonna explain why this action is so successful. They start the play by swinging it over to the side opposite of Hunter and when the ball is caught, they're gonna have their foreman or the other big go up and set a ball screen. The reason they do this is to pull that help man up. And at the same time that's going on, if you look closely, you'll notice that Hunter starts to duck his man in on the opposite side at the same time. And because his timing is so good, it creates this angle for Harris to throw it over the top when there's no backside help, which leads to all of these layups that he continues to get. And the thing that most fans don't get to appreciate is the intentionality of everything about this play. Notice that when Harris catches the ball, every single person is above this line, and that allows them to throw it over the top to their big fella for a layup. And the other variation that they run of this same concept is instead of setting the screen, they'll just have the big pop, they'll swing it to him, and he's the one who throws it over to the point guard. But it accomplishes the same purpose of occupying these two tags so that there's nobody to help when the ball goes in, and that's what gets him these wide open layups. So as you're watching basketball this season, pay attention to KU running this action because you'll start to notice Hunter ducking in while the ball is opposite and you might even get to tell your friends why he keeps getting these easy layups. And another action that's been accomplishing the same thing is what's referred to as a gut down screen. Now what that means is they're going to throw the ball to the other big at the elbow and Hunter's going to set a down screen inside of the paint for a guard who's going to throw it right back to him. And because Adams is at the elbow, that pulls out the other big defender who can help at the rim and Hunter leverages that down screen to force his defender to front him. They throw it over the top for another easy layup. Now when Tennessee guarded this, they did a great job of not getting forced to front, but Hunter did still get an easy left-handed baby hook inside the paint. But in my opinion, I think they run this action the best when they set it right in the middle of the paint for the guard to catch it at the free throw line. They clear out the wing. Now you get four guys around the perimeter. Hunter is the only person inside the paint and he has room to go to work. And going back to how wise Coach Self is, he is constantly finding different ways to get this exact same look. This one looked like a cross screen, but then the four pops, Hunter dives and he forces that front to get the exact same high-low look. But again, it always goes back to the high skill level of Hunter's game and Coach Self understanding that he's not a one-trick pony. He doesn't just have him standing in the middle of the paint constantly looking for post touches. He's letting him shoot threes in transition. He's letting him pick and pop in ball screens. And when he chooses to roll, he puts so much pressure on the rim that his guards are always looking to find him. 
So it'll be interesting to see what happens once Big 12 play starts because I guarantee you these coaches are preparing for how to guard these actions. Thanks for coming through. We'll see you next time in the film room.